Hey, Teresa, what are you doing over there? Hello. Guess what time it is? It's less for dinner. It sure is. Hi, it's... everybody. Hey, it's a little early today. Happy Sunday. Yep. Well, we do eat early on Sundays. Yes, we do. Because so. the boys are with us, and then they want to eat early so they can go out and, um, you know, do boy stuff that 16-year-olds do. Yep. So what do we got? Oh, sorry. Go. So what do we got? So tonight we have ribeyes. Okay. So you made three ribeyes, and then you made a filet for me because those ribeyes, I don't, I, I don't like that one. Okay. And then we just good. put butter on there. Yeah. Do you want to be in it? Let's go. Oh, there's Blake jumping in. How's it going? We just made up. Oh uh, yeah. Yep. All right, Let's so what else? So, yeah, what else is going on here? Brussels, roasted Brussels sprouts with olive oil, balsamic vinegar, salt, and garlic. Yum. I'll probably Can't put wait. some cheese or like a bunch of spices on top of it, more than likely. That's typically what I do. I've got a bunch of, uh, we should talk about healthy seasonings. Do we not talk about Well, I, we have talked about it before. Probably for yeah. sure. Okay. Yeah, the just first make sure ingredient. you try to get sugar free ones, but I like like garlic powder mm -hmm. and stuff. I, it helps a lot if you eat the same stuff. It is good. Works and then well. I sauteed up some onions. Okay. Nice. And they smell really good. They do. They and smell then delicious. Eggs and bacon. The usual eggs, bacon, and there's that's that's Mark's plate right there. <laughs> He's gonna dig in. I got an avocado on there as well, and I just have to add the Brussels sprouts. And so I'm saving bacon grease because I am going to make my own mayonnaise. I am okay. graduating. Yes, she's moving really, up in the world, guys. Yeah, definitely. No seed oils in that. So, quick question: This food that you've prepared tonight will it cause your blood sugar and your insulin to rise? Oh, and before we get to that, what's up, Nate? How's How it you doing, buddy? Oh, look at him all swole over there. <laughs> he... um, no, it will not spike your sugar. It will not spike your insulin. And if you want to lose weight and reverse your diabetes and fatty liver and chronic joint pain and migraines and uh, kidney disease and heart disease and all the other things, keep your insulin low. If your insulin is high, you can't do any of those things. So here's the thing. If you're a diabetic, you should demand. First, you shouldn't have to demand. Your provider should give you a CGM, a continuous glucose monitor wear on the back of your arm. Yeah. They won't. Insurance refuses to pay for it without all these hoops. Providers have to jump through for a prior authorization, but you should be demanding that. If you wore a glucose monitor on the advice of your diabetic nutritionist and provider, you would quickly see that that's not the way out of disease. Mm. So that is a data-driven tool that will be able to help figure out if the meal plan you've been given is correct or not. Interesting. So, mm -hmm. and I say, you know, people like Blake is going to uh, sort of certification for personal, personal trainer and health coach. You know this, but other health coaches just put people on a food plan and they don't even know if they have diabetes or not. They also don't keep track of it very well. And they have really unrealistic goals for their clients. Oh. Something big that um, I've noticed too, is if you have really, um, if your insulin's always really high, your cardiovascular system is going to be pretty poor to right. your cardiovascular health is really poor. Yes. So that's another big thing that people overlook a lot of times because, when thinking about health is their actual cardiovascular system. Because people think heart disease is caused by all this butter and steak and red meat and eggs and bacon. But cholesterol is increased by sugar and that creates inflammation. And inflammation is the real root cause of everything. But sugar causes it, seed oils cause it, stress, no sleep, all those things. But inflammation is the root cause. Which so, causes fat storage, or is that the same yeah. thing? Yeah, well, insulin promotes fat, fat storage, storage yeah. and but it creates inflammation. I have a question, a kind of like follow on question is like, if I'm taking in all this fat or I'm worried about cholesterol and stuff, why can't I just take a satin? I mean, I could just take a pill and it'll be magically cured, right? Why are you doing this today? Oh, I had no. a rough week and morning, and now you're asking me about statins? It's a recipe for disaster. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. You can take a statin. But statins are cholesterol lowering medications are known to cause type two diabetes, Alzheimer's and dementia, cognitive decline, muscle wasting, mitochondrial damage, ALS like syndromes, Parkinson's. Um, but sure, lower your cholesterol that's never been proven to be a problem. Okay. How's wow. that? Something too for all the fat in this food. Yeah. We'll send you studies if you don't believe us. We got you. <laughs> right on. Okay. All right. Anything else? Back with our info. No. no. Okay. Well, guys, share with us what you guys are having for dinner. And uh, Patty, Arnold, Patty Arnold Hendricks loves your shirt, Teresa. Oh, oh thanks, Patty. <laughs> Patty's Let's doing go. a great job. Keep going. Yep. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon. All right, love you guys. Share with us what you're having for dinner. We'll see you next time. Bye, Nate. Bye. See you guys. <laughs> Bye.